Uno. Baila, baila. Mira qué rico viene mi tumbao. Baila mi tumbao. Bailalo. Pero bailalo de lado. De lado. Mira cómo suena que es un octubre. Le te deja los pies tirados. Bailalo. Baila mi tumbao. Pero bailalo de lado. De lado. Mira cómo suena que es un octubre. Le te deja los pies tirados. Hoy en mi cabeza me han sonado. Eh, ah. Esto que mi mente se ha quedado. We're gonna catch up. The gas bill is two months past due. We are so far behind on the mortgage. <laughs> no, I, I'm serious. I mean it. Don't. I mean it. The grocery bill alone was two hundred dollars. And you know the twins are gonna need braces. Both of them. They're definitely gonna. Need Daniela, we stop it. I'm gonna manage. I know. I know. Yeah, but really, realistically, we're gonna get through this. Okay? You gotta trust me. Okay. Okay. Let's go, beautiful. <laughs> That's why I married you. Okay. That was a long time ago, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Hey, sup, boss? Parking out on time. <laughs> That's a first. Quit busting my chops, huh? What did I work? Only like 60 hours this 64. week? 64. Socking away that overtime? Hey, gotta finance the dream. Oh, man, go out and have some fun. It's Friday night. Come on, man. I always have fun. I don't know. Not like you got a woman waiting on you. Ooh, ooh that hurts. Truth hurts. <laughs> <laughs> have a good weekend. I'll see you Monday. Got it. pay late. Yeah, well, at least I'm consistent. Look, I don't make the rules, bro. I just enforce them. Thanks. Steel! 
by Reyes. <laughs> I'm bowl, Vanessa. Dad, Dad, I'm gonna kill her. Don't kill anyone until we leave the house, okay? Vanessa, give him the ball, please. What kind of player lets a cheerleader steal the ball? What kind of player don't? Doesn't. Daniela! Uh, you just got the little ones to sleep. Oh, good. I'm not little. Me either. You are too. I'm the same size as you, Angelo. For now. I'm gonna be so much bigger. Guess I better beat you up while I still can. Can, can! Daniela, go for one. Shh, shh, shh. You're gonna wake up the little ones. She's a little one. Okay, you two, into bed. And if you ask nicely, Vanessa will read you a story, okay? Oh, you owe me big time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so true. Daniela, thank you. Wow. The one night we want to go out alone. So much to ask of our eldest. Daniela, come on, let's go. Come on. I know you're not If you need anything, call myself. But please, don't need anything. <laughs> okay. okay. Love you guys. Love you. Love Bye. you too. We should get some more drinks. Uh, Margo, why don't you give me a hand? Oh, we, we got drinks right here, man. I know we got drinks right here. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, I, get I need to visit the ladies' room, okay? Oh, Mama, it's like, me too. <laughs> Since you left me? Gee, I didn't leave you. No, Ray Ray, you just made it impossible to stay. We both wanted different things. Yeah, I wanted to have kids and you wanted to be one. Hey, look, we both had fun, right? Yeah, we did. I'm glad that was enough for you. Tell the others I said goodbye, okay? <laughs> Wait, Cheeky! Cheeky! <laughs> Promise you sing to me every night? Oh, forever. Summer's almost here. We got all the time in the world. Summer's almost here, and we have six kids at home. Oh, yeah, I forgot about those kids. <laughs> I wouldn't change you for anything. Te quiero. Te quiero, ma. Okay. There's been an accident. Oh, come on in, come on in. I'll be right back. Sorry for your loss, Senor Dominguez, but I need you to be strong right now. Okay. Raymond Dominguez, I, Elizabeth Warden, DCFS officer for the state of New York and the county and city of New York, am leaving the following children. Vanessa, Manuel, Angela, Angelo, Lola, and Nico Reyes with their legal next of kin, Raymond Dominguez. 
He shall act as responsible and sole guardian for all six children until further arrangements can be made with the courts as to their proper placement. But, but ma'am, I mean, I can't take care of the kids. You're their only living relative. Yeah, but ma'am, I'm not good with kids. I mean, I mean, look at this place. I don't even know what to do with them. Well, we'll try to make other arrangements, but in the meantime, they need to be with family. Can you find a family that will take all of them? Well, the younger children should be no problem to place, but foster homes are reticent to take in teenagers. Well, yeah, I mean, you can't split them up. If you want them placed quickly, we are going to have to split them up. You do understand that you will be sole guardian until that happens? I mean, do I have a choice? There are two copies. We'll be stopping by periodically to uh, check. Once again, Senor Dominguez, I am very sorry for your loss. I'll just show myself out. How stupid could you be? Theo, is mommy and papi in heaven? See, Lala. <coughs> mommy and papi are in heaven. <laughs> Make a little extra money, I'll make a donation. Don't worry about it, Raymond. It's already been taken care of. My own. Thank you. You strong. Thank you, Jose. Thank you very much. Take all the time you need. Thanks. We're gonna have to set some rules. What? What rules? Like keeping the place clean. You want us to keep things clean? No, I, I just want you to keep your things away from my things. Theo, I'm almost 17. Can we just go home? Look, we don't need you. Well, it is what it is right now. For now, you've got to stay here. I say we just go home. You can't. I mean, we can't. Your parents, they're... Your parents, they were having trouble making house payments. What are you talking about? The house is in foreclosure. You, what is foreclosure? It means we don't have a house no more. Theo, what do you mean for now? He wants to put us in an orphanage. Mommy. It's not true. For now, means that we're gonna get through this together. It'll be a piece of cake. I like cake.
you guys have to do it. What? The twins tried to flush your boxer shorts. Again? Uh, Vanessa, uh, are you gonna be long? Oh my god, go away! Angela woke me up when he went to bed. Oh, okay. Thanks. <sighs> Miss Warden, what a surprise. Uh, come on in. A surprise? Senor Dominguez, we've had this home visit scheduled for four weeks. I know, but a lot has been happening. I called to remind you. I am, but sometimes my cell phone is... We you... spoke, Senor Dominguez. Would you please call me Ray Ray? And I'm sorry about the mess, right? It's just the maid's year off. <laughs> um, can I get you anything? Like maybe coffee, tea, tequila? <laughs> good morning. Hey, good morning, Gilly. Oh, I didn't know you had company. <laughs> Gilly, this is Elizabeth Warden from the Department of Children and Family Services. Oh, oh well, that, uh, that's for somebody else. It's got this apartment on it. Oh. Huh. Is that Manny relieving himself on the building? What? Hey! Come, come on. Leo, come help me. Hold on. All the children sleep in here? Oh no, not Nico. He sleeps in a laundry basket. <laughs> it's cute. I think I've seen you enough. Ever do that again? Hey, tell him to fix the toilet. I won't have to. Wait, wait Miss Warden. Miss Warden, please. Please, Miss Warden. I know this looks bad. You missed three appointments at my office. I was working. There is no food in the refrigerator. The children are living in squalor. You're overdue on your rent. I am doing the best I can. Well, the best you can isn't good enough. Please give me another chance, please. Okay, 30 days. Thank you. You have 30 days to get your act together or I take those children and I put them wherever I think is best, together or apart. Is that clear? Very. Gracias. What? You know you're like a brother to me, right? Yeah, of course. The kind of brother who never listens, the kind of brother who has to do everything his own way, the kind of brother you need to knock some sense into. Oh, come on, man. What did I do? 
Ray Ray, you can't do this by yourself. You need some help. I got a lot of help. I mean, look, a Chizzy brought donuts and pizza this morning. Yeah, sure. Breakfast of champions. And, and Bongo helps out with the laundry, mm -hmm. Lizette and Carmella with the babysitting, and... Yeah, you put them all together, you get one whole brain. Come on, man. They're great. Oh, yeah. They're, they're great friends. But what do they know about raising kids? Nada. We got a surprise for you. <laughs> Theo, don't we look beautiful? Uh, yeah. Can I take yeah. my shoes off now? I know. My feet hurt. Oh, no, not yet. We have to take pictures. Yes. <laughs> we can take the dresses and the shoes back to the store, OK? OK, <laughs> come on, let's come go. On. Work it, Diva. Work. But Gilly, where am I gonna find somebody who wants children, loves children, and would do anything for a child? Well, perhaps there's a certain teacher that we both know. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, she wouldn't. I mean, you think? You missed the spot. <laughs> for beating you. Hola, Chiki. Hello, Lola. Hey, what's with the boxes? You going somewhere? Not that it's any of your business, but I was offered a job in a private school in Miami. Miami? I leave in six weeks. Oh, Chiki, I need your help. DCFS, they gave me a month to take care of these kids and fix things up. I'm gonna lose them. A few days, that's it. For them, Riri, not for you. Yeah, of course, for them. For them. Is that good, Theo? That was perfect. Both of you. Ding, 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 ding.
You need a hand. Nah, I get it. Just don't know why they make it so complicated. So you'll have a sense of accomplishment when it's done. <laughs> you know, um, um, I couldn't. I couldn't have done none of this without you. For the kids, Ray Ray. I should go. I got more to pack. Yeah. Sure. Good. Okay, take slot A and slot B into bar C and put through here. Hold it. And <laughs> you understand all this stuff, little buddy? Huh? Hey, Manny. Hey, Manny. Hey. Hey, Manny, where are you going? Out. Manny, I could use some help. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What the hell are you doing? How are you going to rip the papers when I can't even put them back? Did you put that back together? Hey. Hi, Nico, he was so scared. Man, he's angry at everybody. Nico doesn't talk to anybody. Angelo and Angela, they just keep fighting with each other. And Vanessa, I don't even know. I mean, Vanessa is a complete mystery. You left out Lola. Uh, Lola. She's so special. You two get back here! He bit me! Who? Bongo? Bongo? Me? Cause you hit me! Oh! Hey, oh knock hey. it off, you two! Knock it off! You stop hitting! You stop biting! Oh! Oh! Okay, okay. No more hitting, no more biting. We're gonna learn how to use our words. Why did you hit her? She called me a name. I did not. It's the truth. You wet the bed. Okay, hold it. How does that make you feel? I hate it. It embarrasses you? It hurts your feelings? You see how what you say can hurt Angela? I'm sorry, Angelo. I won't do it ever again, ever. Pinky sweat. Okay. <laughs> Talk to them, Ray Ray. From what I remember, you had a pretty good rap. Just talk. Nice. You gotta point your bell ringer. Nice. You know, Manny, back in the day, I used to play a little ball myself. You know? I may be a little short, I might be a little out of shape, but uh, how about it? You want to go one-on-one -on -one with me? If you could take the heat. It's good. OK, take it out.
Manny, what is wrong with you, man? Why are you so Just leave me alone. You know, I wish I could leave you alone, but the state... Yeah, but the state to... says, right? It wasn't supposed to be like this. No, it wasn't supposed to be like this, Manny, but it is. It's gonna be okay. What's okay about it? My parents are dead. I want him. You want to run, Manny? Manny, Manny, look at me. Talk to me. I'm right here. Talk to me. I wanted them to see me play. I wanted to make them proud. Manny, let me tell you something. My sister, she was so proud of you. I heard about the first time you talked. I heard about the first time you took a step. Your parents were both very proud of you. Don't you ever forget it. You're never gonna see me star. But you and me, we're blood. And no matter where you are, and no matter where I am, I know both of them are gonna be right here, watching over both of us. It's not the same. No, it's not, and it's not ever gonna be the same again, Matty. And I don't wanna be your parent, and I'm not gonna try to be your parent. Maybe if we try, Maybe we could be friends. Huh? Deal? Take this with you. Put it in your pocket. It's got your name and where you live on there. Never leave home without it, okay? It's kind of like uh, an icebreaker, right? Okay, then. We're excited to have the children here at PS 188. It's a wonderful school, and we'll make sure the adjustment for the children will be very easy. Thank you. They're excited as well. <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> Angelo and Angela, these are your buddies, Esteban and Maria. Hey, hi. They're in all your classes, and they'll help get you up to speed. OK, Seymour, uh, Nico is registered in Mr. Patrick's first grade, and Lola in Miss Norman's third grade. If you'll escort them, please. All right, kids, let's go. <laughs> Bye, Theo. Bye-bye, have fun. That's a Theo. He's amazing. <laughs> Now, Mrs. Butts, uh, Angelo and Angela are both registered in Miss Jackson's fifth grade. Fine. Is that your real name, Mrs. Butts? Yes. And the other guy is Seymour? Yes. Seymour Butts. Seymour <laughs> Butts. Seymour <laughs> Butts. You really got to see it? Like, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. Buenos días, señor. Señorita. Bienvenidos. I don't want the kid back here. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. Remind me again? Uh, my niece and my nephew, Vanessa, and Manuel Reyes. Right, uh, transfers. Done. Jacqueline. Yes, Mr. Mitchell. Please welcome these two kids, Veronica. Vanessa. I'm sorry, Vanessa and Manuel Reyes. Follow me. What? Hola. English, you know. So do I. But well, you know, some things require romance language. 
You always so smooth? Yeah. Only in the presence of true beauty. Hey. Uh, who are you, bro? Sorry, uh, my name is Brandon. Let's go. Wait, when I'm ready. Um, I, I, I didn't get your name? Manny. And, um, your sisters? Maybe. Oh, I could talk for myself. Vanessa. Vanessa Reyes. El gusto es mío. Vanessa Reyes. You on the team? I play. You star? I captain. All right, well, uh, we'll talk, bro. I gotta go. Sure. Are um, we gonna talk? Maybe. She is not a baby, Angelo, and clearly she has excellent taste in men. See, I want ice cream. No, we don't have ice cream for dinner. Why not? Because we... I, I don't know why. It's it's unhealthy. Like a burger and fries are? Or onion rings and grits. Thanks, you too. What can I get for you? We'll have seven cheeseburgers, six shakes, mm -hmm. and a cup of coffee. So, Theo, you know Nico's birthday's on Sunday. He's his little buddy, huh? Well, we gotta do something special, huh? You want something special for your birthday, Nico? He wants a Nintendo DS. Oh, like a Game Boy. Game Boy? <laughs> Never mind. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> huh? Where I go? Thank you. Thank you. What cup of cup? Hello? Miss Wharton? Uh, I'm sorry. I was, I, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't hear what you were saying. Some good news. I may have found a family who'll take two of the youngest children. Are you there? The, the, the two youngest? You'll have to come in next week to fill out the paperwork, okay? Yeah, 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 sure, sure. Congratulations, Senor Dominguez. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah. Everything's great. So, what are we gonna do about Nico's birthday? Nico, you like magic? We can get a clown? What do we need a clown for? We've already got you. Theo, <laughs> <laughs> can we get a pool? Yeah, 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 yes. Yeah, we'll get a pool. Yes! yes! they call using their words. <laughs> oh, great, thanks. Where is everybody? In the bedroom. She comes to us from far away. We all love her and we pray, beam me up, she'll never say. Any sunbeam, cowgirl of the light, shines on us and makes us bright. Okay, great, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's real good. Great, good party. Great, yeah, great job. Great job. Yeah. I ordered the cake. Great. Yeah. Wait, wait. Give. What? I know you. Something's up. I got some good news. They found a family that could take the kids from me. Is that what you really want? Yeah, Chicky, I'm not really that good with kids. Right? And plus, I can't afford them. So it's about the money? Yeah. 
No, I mean, come on, Chicky. Chicky, I've been saving for three years, all right? To follow my dream. In six weeks, these kids have come in and spent half of my savings. In order for me to keep them and let them live the way that they want to live, it's going to take a miracle. I don't believe this. But it was supposed to be temporary only. Don't you care about them? Of course I care about them. All right? I just didn't sign up for this. Nobody signs up. Look at Chiggy. The sooner they come in and get these kids, the sooner I get my life back. Same old Ray Ray. Why do I even bother? What these kids need, I can't provide. You don't want to be tied down, is that it? Maybe that is it. Maybe I just don't want to be tied down. Don't worry. You won't be. Not with them. Not with me. Cheeky, Okay, you guys, look at Bongo's downstairs in the lobby. Get your clothes together and let's go do some laundry before the big party. <laughs> let's go, come on. Happy party. birthday, little buddy. Recuerda que ya ves, ya se como un año. Me diste acompañado en el rostro, tuve que quedar. Where to go, man? Oh, no, no, don't worry about it, man. She ain't coming. About the piñata!
Don't fill up on candy. We still got a beautiful cake, kids. Okay, I got the plan. I'm ready. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's do it. Manny, Manny, you go get Nico. I'm going to go get the cake. Oh, what's right. cake on the Oh, oh nice. Guys, guys, where's Nico? What do you mean? What? He's not there. What do you mean he's not there? What? He's not there. Nico! Hey, don't panic, don't panic. Hold this, hold, hold this. Take this, listen, okay. you three, you guys, you guys stay here with the kids. You guys go north, you guys go check the apartment. I'm gonna go south. Nico! 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 I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Looking for my little boy. He's got the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, where did you find him? All right, I'll be right there. Mijo! 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 Are you okay? Are you okay? He wouldn't talk, but he handed us this. We found him walking by himself on Broadway near the bridge. Thank you. Why, little buddy? Look at me. Did I do something? Did I say something? You were in the kitchen, weren't you? I didn't mean what I said. I'm so sorry, Nico. I love you. What's going on? In light of this incident, Senor Dominguez, I'm removing the children from your care. I have authorization to take the two youngest immediately. Well, I'm not going to let that happen. Well, you wanted them out of your hair. We're simply obliging. these kids back. You want to listen to me. I you appeal to the family oh, court? I seriously doubt it's going to help. You are wrong, Miss Warden. I will get these kids back. Nico, go long. Warden came and she took them both. I don't know what I'm gonna do. You gotta help me. We'll figure something out. I think you've got a good shot at this, Mr. Dominguez. Thank you. And you, you could call me Ray Ray. How's Raymond? Sure. All right. No guarantees, but I'd like to start with a background check on you, your finances, those of your late sister and brother-in-law. Sure, okay. All right, I'll need a retainer of 5000 to begin. Yeah, 5000 up, up front? Uh, I was hoping that we could kind of work on a contingency. Well, but there are no damages, Raymond. So if you win, you win the children. Oh. Unless you want to give me 33% of the kids. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I understand. Um, I just don't have that kind of money. I get it. Um, it's just that the longer the kids are out of your custody, the more difficult it can become. I see. 
Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I just don't have it. What about the money you were saving for? The dream. It's for Miami. I mean, there's some of it left, but I mean, most of it went to school and clothes and food, doctor's appointments. But the lawyer said it looks good, right? Yeah, but she didn't say it was a sure thing. Ray Ray, what in life is a sure thing? Dime. Nada. Nothing. Zip. Have faith, man. Faith. You ready? Yeah, I'm just gonna just go wash my hands in the bathroom. All right, I'll meet you in the truck. Everything come out okay? <laughs> yeah. Just go. Wait, oh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. What's wrong? What happened? Nothing, man. Just go. Ray Ray. What do you got me? I went to the bathroom to wash my hands. I found this. Yo, Ray Ray, hold on. Just wait. What did you do? Nothing, man. Just go. What are we gonna do, man? Chizzy, just go! Over here, over here, open this. Open it. Take it off. Wilson. Yeah, what's up, Wilson? Yeah, oh, we're on our way. We just made a quick stop. Yeah, 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 about five minutes. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Bye. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> I didn't expect you home. Is everything okay? Oh, yeah, everything is great, huh, Jesse? Oh, oh. oh, yeah, yeah, everything's <laughs> fine. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, why? How's school? I love it. You love it? Are you sure we're related? School sucks. There you go. That's my blood. <laughs> That's it. Deal. When are Lola and Nico coming back home? Soon, me. I promise. Okay. Soon. What are you doing here, Ravi? Doesn't he live here? <laughs> you know what I mean. What's wrong? Chicky, you trust me, right? What are you talking about? Chizzy. Chicky, I need you to do me a favor. What's that? You see that radiator cover? I need you to guard it with your life. Don't let the kids near it or open it, okay? Or well, anybody else. Yeah, okay. But you're scaring me, Ray Ray. What's in there? It could be the answer to our dreams. Just trust me, Chicky, please. Trust me. Try and get the benefits passed for you and the kids. I'm also requesting that you get a raise. You all right? Huh? Did you hear me? What? 
I'm working on you getting a raise and a benefits pass for the kids. That's great. Thanks. Is he all right? Uh, sure. He just don't sleep no more, but other than that, you know. Oh, get out of here, will ya? <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. Good night. Get you some rest, will you? Thanks, Wilson. All right. Okay, more arc and aim towards the back of the rim. Why the back? Because that way, if you're tired, you'll make the long shot. Keep thinking about Lola and Nico. You get them back, right? Oh, come on, before you know it. Did we do something wrong? Or... No, Manny, you did nothing wrong. But be honest, I had to do with us, right? No, it had nothing to do with you, Manny. I mean, the truth is, I don't even know what's right, wrong. I don't even know what honesty is anymore. Bob used to always tell me. Honesty came from honor. Secret. I think I know how you did it, Daniela. When it's not just. Problem. The last time I woke up this early. It was when that kid came oh, by. Okay, Sorry. let's go, oh, kids. Hi. We don't want to be late. Come on. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye, honey. Bye. Bye. Wish me luck, Theo. Trying out for the team at the school. Hey, Manny, they would be lucky to have you. Go get them. Hey, Theo, um, I was thinking about getting a little part-time job after school so then I could help out with the bills and stuff around here. What do you think? I think that I have the prettiest Sabrina in the entire world. Mm -hmm. Good day. Thank you. Bye bye. What else can I do, Daniela? We'll make it work. Yeah, it's a big fundraiser. I guess one of the donors got a little uh, callous. See, what I don't understand is why it took you 24 hours to return the money. You don't? No. Sir, like I said, I've been working since I was 16 years old. I've never seen this kind of money. My sister and her husband, they died recently, and I wound up taking in their six kids. And now the state wants to come in and separate all of them. I have a court case this Friday that I don't even have a lawyer for. I'm trying to keep my family together. This money right here, it could have it changed our lives. So why'd you change your mind? I didn't. I made up my mind. You see, I have a family now. And my decisions and my choices, they're gonna affect my kids. I was just trying to do the right thing. You understand? I do. Yes, I do. And I applaud your honesty, Mr. Dominguez. Are there going to be any repercussions of all this? I don't see why. Money's all there, right? All of it. There you go. Then we'll talk to the benefit mm -hmm. organizer, and I doubt there's going to be any pressing of charges. Who wants to be known as the guy who left 100 Gs in the men's room, right? <laughs> Good point. Gentlemen. Mr. Dominguez. Yeah? Good luck. Thanks. What about this? Yeah, 
Harry. Hey, it's me, Detective Emily Johnson from the 3-5 Squad. You still work in the city desk, right? Yeah, I'm still here. Great. Listen, have I got a story for you. Uh-huh. Okay. Miss Horace. Hang on one sec. Yes? Do you remember me? Raymond. Raymond Dominguez? Yeah, six kids, right? Uh, okay, I got this in the mail. Okay, I I'm gonna call you back. Okay. I also have $1,122. I would have had more, but I put 50 cents in the parking meter downstairs. Benjamin Welling the third. You're doing court Friday. Yeah, but I have a steady job. This Friday? And I'm gonna be getting a raise. And I'll get you all of your money, but you can't let them take my kids away from me. Your kids? <sighs> take the money, buy a suit, and you have yourself a lawyer, Raymond. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Horowitz. Thank you. Hello, what you doing? Yeah. Hey. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. <laughs> so, uh, Tio, um, I made the team. Hey. 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 This calls for a celebration. <laughs> Ice cream for everybody. Yeah. Good job, man. So, I'm really proud of you, man. Way to go. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? My name is Brandon. I know. We, yeah, we I know. I know. I know. I know. He's, uh, <laughs> he's, uh, he's, uh, he's the captain. Uh, captain of the team. Oh, is that so? Yep. Yes, sir. I, uh, he really helped me out a lot. Oh, I mean, come on. He didn't that much help. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know, his mom owns the salon around the corner. Oh. She offered me a weekend job. Um, if that's okay with you. Yeah, well, that's the job that you wanted to take on the weekends. <laughs> Please, deal. Yeah. <laughs> Did I hear correctly that your mother is Dolores? Yes. That woman is a magician. Mira. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no. Wow. <laughs> so uh, you are the captain of the basketball team. Oh, and the baseball team. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I bet you're a great sufferer. Not at all, sir. I keep a 3.8 average, Mr. Dominguez. My mom takes that very, very seriously, and um, so do I. Yeah, he just got a scholarship to UM. The University of Miami, huh? Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, do you spend a lot of time at your mother's salon? No, you know, more so on the weekends. Just, you know, just... Wow, okay, it's getting kind of late. Uh, I'm gonna take off. I just wanna make sure they got home safe. So, um, yeah, all right, man. Congratulations, man. How are you? Oh, cool, all right. Nice to meet you guys. Bye. Take it easy. Yeah, 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 all right, yeah. <laughs> Good night, Brandon. <laughs> I'll be right in, Theo. Now he hates me. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I do not know nothing about anything. <laughs> uh -huh. oh, stop oh. it. Good night. Good night. OK, everyone. It's time for bed. Oh, yes, yet. Oh, yes, yet. Come on. Good night, guys. Say good night, guys. Good night, guys. Good night, guys. Good night, mommy. Good night. Good night, sweetie. Good job, Annie. Thank you. She's so good with those kids. I know. Hey. I'm really proud of you, Mio. It's all because of you, Tio. No, no. It's all because of you, Manny. Good night, guys. Eric, you're doing your thing, man. You never know what's gonna happen to life. I'll see you tonight, Pa. Good night. Like a brother. <laughs> Bye, baby. They're all in bed. Thank you. Ava. Ava. I wish I had more time. For the kids, I mean. So do you have to go? I'm out of my apartment at the end of the week. And the new job. It's a fresh start. A change. Good night, Raymond.
Ray Ray. Yep. Ray Ray. Did you see? Did I see what? What you did. What do you mean, did I see what I did? This? Hmm? Look at that. <laughs> Look, it says, uh, a long-standing dream of moving his family to a better life in Miami was within his grasp. But instead, Raymond, Ray Ray, that's you, Dominguez, did the right thing and returned the money. I know this. Yeah. Ray Ray, Ray Ray, I told you, man, miracles can happen. Look at him. Miracle. Yeah. Unbelievable. Listen, <laughs> I thought a miracle was a lawyer not accepting money, but oh. this man, I don't believe it. Wait, wait, yeah. you gotta think positive, that. man. Positive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're good. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, nothing. nothing. Is everything okay? okay? Yeah, everything is fine. In fact, we are not going to go to school today. Yes! We are not even gonna leave the house today! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm my first practice. Oh, and I was gonna hang out with Bra uh, biology teacher. <laughs> What's that? Huh? Ah, buenos morning. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, something's going on, and it has to do with those newspapers. Yeah, ¿qué sucede, tío? You know, really, you're right. Something is going on, and it has to do with this newspaper. And uh, we have to talk together as a family. <laughs> just the kids. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. oh just ah! the kids. Okay. Well, if you need us, we'll be outside. Okay. Right? Okay. Right. Just the kids. Hey, Cheeky. Did you stay? Tell us that we were only supposed to be here temporarily? What? Yeah, look. The Department of Child and Family Services has been trying to find a home for six orphans? That's why you let them take Miko and Lola. Well, let me explain that, all right? Because it's not the way it Don't is. Don't you want us? I thought you loved us. Of course I do. It says that you asked the state to find us homes? Look, and I'm going to be honest with you, OK? Because honesty, it comes from honor. And that's all a man has, right? Look at you guys. I've always had this dream of going off to Miami. I never wanted little people or kids or a family. I never wanted pets or live plants. And I didn't want to ever be tied down. So you don't want us? Of course I do. I mean, the mere thought of losing you guys it breaks my heart in two. But you just said that you don't want to have kids. Or plants. Well, you know what happened? I grew up. I grew up because of you guys. You guys, you make me want to be a better person than I am. For you. And you made me realize what's really important. Family. But the state says it. it I know what right. the state says. I got a lawyer. All right? We are going to fight to get Lola and Nico back together as a family. <laughs> and you want to know what? From now on, it's not just my dream. It's our dream. <laughs> Whatever you need. I'll be there. Got that right. Yo también. <laughs> Yo, what happened to all the money? I returned it. All of it? All of it. Good. We don't need money. We got each other. <laughs> you ready? Amazing piece in the paper. It's okay. Come on, sir. Just keep an eye on it. Who's 
so many people here. I know, it's like in the movies. All rise! The Superior Court of Child Services in the state of New York County of New York is now in session. The Honorable Judge Vega presiding. This is the case of the DCFS versus Raymond Ray Ray Dominguez for the custody of Vanessa, Manuel, Angelo, Angela, Lola, and Nico Reyes, his nieces and nephews. All parties are present. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Begin. Your Honor, due to the unfortunate accident of their parents, Daniela and Raul Reyes, the six Reyes children were placed temporarily in the custody of their only relative, their uncle, Ray Ray Dominguez. Elizabeth Warden from DCFS submitted a report that clearly shows Senor Dominguez did not create a safe environment. It is the state's contention that legal custody should immediately be given to a qualified foster home. Ms. Horowitz. Your Honor, Mr. Dominguez has gone to great lengths to prove that he is more than equipped to be the legal guardian to his six nieces and nephews. Yes! We respectfully suggest that our interest and the state's are one and the same. We both want what's best for the Reyes children and I could state most emphatically that means allowing them to stay with their uncle, Raymond Dominguez. Your first witness. The state calls Wilson Barclay. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, to help your God? I do. State your name for the record. Wilson Barclay. Be seated. Mr. Barclay. How long has Mr. Dominguez worked under you? He's been a fine employee, and he's worked for the company for 22 years. Mm. And has he ever gotten into any trouble? Not on my watch. Mm. On Tuesday of this week, did you visit the New York Police Department? Yes, I believe we did. Why? Ray Ray found some money, and he wanted to return it to his proper owner. And did he not find that money on Monday? I believe he did and he kept the money for 24 hours before deciding what to do with it. Well, I guess that kind of money doesn't mean much for a lawyer like yourself. For regular folks. Well, who wouldn't keep it for a minute? I mean, he had to have time to think. That's all, Your Honor. Ms. Horowitz. Mr. Barkley. In 22 years, have you ever had any problems with Mr. Dominguez? No. Has anyone ever filed any complaints against Mr. Dominguez in 22 years? Not one. Not one? Thank you. Mr. Sanchez, how do you know Mr. Dominguez? Uh, he's my friend. Just his friend? Well, we are not married, if that's what you mean. <laughs> Mr. Sanchez, do you not work in the building that Mr. Dominguez resides? Oh, yes, uh, that too. Um, I am the superintendent of the building. And did you not recently serve Mr. Dominguez with a three-day notice for his failure to pay rent? Oh, yeah, well, well, I always do that. I mean, sometimes, well, Ray Ray never pays on time. Uh, but he always, always pays. It, it's not like I know he ain't gonna pay the rent. <laughs> no more questions, Your Honor. Ms. Horowitz, does Mr. Dominguez owe you any back rent? Oh, no. I, he, he's never failed me. I mean, Ray Ray's like a brother I never had. A brother you can count on. A brother who makes you proud. I mean, like I said, Ray Ray always pays. And what did you find at the six-week home visit? I observed unsafe living conditions, an unclean environment, and evidence of financial instability but you didn't remove the children at this time. No, uh, Senior Dominguez was anxious to have the children removed, but requested that we keep them together as a family. 
We agreed to uh, give him 30 days to show us that he could care for the children until a more suitable home environment had been found. But you didn't give him the entire 30 days, did you? No. Uh, <clears throat> the youngest child, Nico Reyes, his six-year-old boy, was found wandering on Broadway near the George Washington Bridge. This is the deeply troubled little boy, yes? Well, he hasn't spoken since the accident a few months ago. So this six-year-old child was found wandering a major city street without any adult supervision. So in your professional opinion, this was an unsafe situation. We feel the removal of the children from Senior Dominguez's care is the best for all of them, but especially the youngest ones. No further questions, Your Honor. Ms. Horowitz. Mr. Dominguez has worked hard to improve the living conditions for the children. If he were in compliance, would finances be your only major concern? Of course. But look, I've seen his records, and he can barely feed himself, uh, much less a- Your Honor, I know this is irregular, but with the court's indulgence, could I invite Sergeant Taylor into the courtroom, please? You want to give me a hint? I'd rather just show you. Your Honor. Well, you've piqued my curiosity. Don't stop now. Thank you, Your Honor. Sergeant? Your Honor, Detective Johnson informed me that these bags of mail have been arriving at her station house over the last several days. What is this about, Detective? Your Honor, these are letters of support for Mr. Dominguez from throughout the metropolitan area, filled with cash and checks, ranging from one dollar to the thousand. Order in the court. Order in the court. I will clear this courtroom if you don't hold it down. With the court's indulgence, may, may I read a few? I will allow it. Thank you. These are all to Raymond Dominguez. I read about your plight in the paper, and I wanted to help you as you've helped these children. Take this money, and may it help you build a new life. Uh, this one, if I can help you follow your dream, then this is money well spent. I get the picture, Counselor. Very impressive. But, Your Honor, it still doesn't speak to the issue at hand. Excuse me. I don't know what the state's agenda is, but it is clear that these children are cared for, loved, and supported. I strongly object to that characterization. The state's only objective is to take care of these children's welfare. Terrific! Then why don't we end the charade and let this family go home? Counsel, sidebar, now. I'm sorry. I apologize. This is a loving parental figure. He is a good man, Your Honor. Ray Ray Dominguez has shown a complete disregard for these minors' well-being. They love him, Your Honor. That's not the point. Let them tell you. Any objection to calling one of the children as a witness? No, Your Honor. I'd be glad to put one of the Reyes children on the stand. All right. Let's go. Thank you, Miss Warden. You may step down. Your Honor, we'd like to call Nico Reyes to the stand. Objection. Nico, who ran away from the home, Your Honor. Let's hear from him. I'll allow it. I'm Judge Vega. You understand that you have to tell the truth, right? Go ahead. Nico. Can you tell us why you ran away from your uncle's home on the day of your birthday? Can you answer him, Nico? Just nod your head yes or no. Your Honor, please. Nico, can you tell us if you're happy at your uncle's apartment? It's okay, Nico. No further questions. You can go back to your seat, Nico. Your Honor, there is no evidence whatsoever 
that indicates that Mr. Dominguez has provided the help that this poor, damaged child so obviously needs. Tio, Tio, Tio! Order! Tio Poppy! Tio! Order! Your Honor, this demonstration is not... Mr. Welling, one more word, Mr. Welling, and I will hold you in contempt. I hereby grant full custody of all six Reyes children, Vanessa, Manuel, Angelo, Angela, Lola, and Nico, to their Tio Papi Raymond Dominguez, effective immediately. Yeah. Only as good as the people you share them with. You know, Chica, I think you should go. Really? Yes, because we're going with you. What? We are going to Miami! <laughs> Would you have really stayed here for the kids? No, Raymond. I really would have stayed for you. So 